Check, baby, check, baby. Here we go. Uh, the team formerly known <clears throat> as the, uh, the Denver Broncos, now the Walmart Generals, Mile High View. No commercials. We're not the people that lie to you on the regular. Uh, so um, I just want to say this to Pittsburgh Steeler fans. I went to your platforms and I tried to warn you because I know there are Pittsburgh Steeler content creators right now saying, what the fuck was that? And uh, you're not alone. Seattle Seahawks content creators, after we warned them, and I warned you Pittsburgh Steelers about this game, they also were like, what the fuck? Um, so the generals, the Walmart generals were got the referees to take two scores basically away from the uh, Steelers. And uh, by the time halftime, it should have been 21 to three. Uh, but I think, you know, I honestly think that uh, the NFL is going to have to make a decision. I've been thinking about this. They're going to have to decide, you know, is the Walmart money really worth, you know, tarnishing a product that you're really trying to kill anyway uh, with your social media, Taylor Swift and chopping the balls off? They didn't do that onside kick, did they? Eh? I don't think they can do an onside kick. Anyway, that's that's neither here or there right now. But uh, anyway, I, I I don't think I can do this anymore. I am I am so sick of this product. And, I mean, we always knew that the Walmart generals were bad. They're so bad they get not only help from the refs. Let's be honest, they got help from the Steelers, like they got help from Seattle. And they still couldn't beat the spread. They or they couldn't make the spread. They couldn't. They couldn't make the spread. And, and I'm just getting so sick of having to come here, be right all the time, and and just have to watch this. If you know, if if they would have won the game, how hollow would have that that game would have been? That win would have been. Well, I don't. I don't. I kept telling you, I can't. You kept saying, "Oh, they're scripted. They're going to win." I'm like, "How in the world is? They can't do anything." And let me just say this. If you haven't figured out that Bo Nix needs a shit ton of work. And all, you know, well, and let me say the grifters out there, the NFL didn't expect this. How about this? <laughs> the NFL didn't expect this? <laughs> this dog shit product? <laughs> the, the NFL fears this. It fears this. What, fears Bo Nix, who clearly needs a shit ton of work? But let's just be honest. His cast of characters around him ain't any better. Who's picking the players? That front office. You know, I was in a in a in a big dialogue with my Saints source. I have a Saints source. He's gonna send both of us caps if we'll wear them on the show. I said I'll wear the Saints cap on the show. I'm not, I mean, well, honestly, shouldn't Walmart general fans be ashamed? Should they be ashamed? Go ahead. <clears throat> So should Walmart general fans be ashamed? Yeah. Uh, my question to that is, I don't think that they have a brain cell in their head uh, being ashamed, to be quite frank with you. I, yeah. yeah, I say that. I, 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 I just think Eddie. they're so dumb and so retarded that they don't know the game of football. There's people that did live streams during the game on the Pittsburgh side that I checked out and they were upset with all the holding that Garrett Bowles was getting away with. Well, it wasn't just Garrett Bowles. It wasn't just him. Yeah, but he was, man, he was really bad in this game. Um, what what game is he not bad in? He was bad last week and the years prior. Um, it's hard to tell you, Pitts, but I, I, I really, you're right. I, I'm really getting sick and tired of year after year coming on here. Game after game, off season after off season. You know what? It is our fault for getting roped into this shit again. I know. And um, it, it it's I'm so done hearing the excuses of why. Or let me rephrase that. I'm so sick and tired of Walmart general content creators that rep the orange and blue and say that. Oh, I I 
I'm the best fan in the world and all that crap and all these content creators. No, they're a fan of Walmart. They're not a fan of this. Let me just explain this really quick. Let me just say this really quick. For you people out there, Pittsburgh, whoever's coming here that's from a different team, okay? The Denver Broncos, as they were once known, died with the owner, Pat Bullen. You have this corporate blob takeover that's happened. And if this, these are the Walmart generals. This has nothing to do. Uh, they stole a logo that's on. They should rip that logo off, put WG Walmart generals and just leave it at that. Because they're they're as ugly as their uniforms. Okay. Yeah, uh, but going back to what I was going to say. I'm uh, so sick of these Walmart general content creators defending losing culture. I'm so sick of them accepting it, riding with it. You know, I don't give a fuck if you've been a fan for 20, 30 years. If you defend this type of shit, you're not a fan of mine. But you're not a Denver Bronco fan. You're a, like you said, a Walmart general fan. Yeah. Because, you know, there there's a difference between – Knowing that this team sucks and continue to gaslight people and gaslight your audience. And I'm going to call him out. It's like a guy that does it a lot that never apologizes to his audience is Sports Talk Denver. No, no. He'll, he'll, I mean, yes, you agree. How can you look at yourself in the mirror? No, that's knowing, one of the biggest grifters out there. The, 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 oh, yeah. The, oh, we got good news by Sean Payton. We got the NFL fears the Denver Broncos. The, the, the Denver Broncos are about to run the NFL like. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about where you people flock to that shit. Okay, let's talk. You're right. You're right. And they, they, there's a whole bunch of them online, too. They're just grifting away, you know, and they don't have it. They're not ashamed of it. They they took every like, every um, every sub. They, they got what they everything they could get from these people who just ate it all up. You know, now, what? You know what? We're not bashing the Denver Broncos. We're bashing the Walmart Generals. So stop with that fucking notion. Sorry, but I had to, I had to, I want to say that right here, right now. Stop there are no, lying. There are no Denver Broncos. There no, are. they're not. They're the Walmart Generals. Okay, just so we got that clear. Thank you. But the NFL's got to come up with. Uh, they're going to have to make a decision. That is so bad. They're just. Why don't you let them die on the vine, like you do every other team? I don't see you helping the Giants out. I, I don't, don't see you helping the Jets. I don't see it help Carolina out. Why? Yeah. Why is it? Why is it that every team that we play the next week? Oh man, they miraculously look better than when they played the Walmart Generals. Yeah. What, oh yeah, my god! Right. Oh my god! They're actually playing their A plus plays. Yeah. How about this? How come you don't have the content, cr- or the the people that cover those other teams the week after or the week before they play the? Come and say, what the fuck was that? What the hell did we just see? Well, well just just to expand on that point, Chot Deliver, why is it that okay, let's take what okay, you bring up Carolina, let's bring up Seattle playing the Patriots today. Did you see the referees engaging is in that much than the Pittsburgh or the uh Pittsburgh Steelers and the Walmart Generals today? Did you see Seattle stumbling around and throwing passes into New England bread baskets like no. it was no. So why is it every time a team plays this shit team, they, the refs got to play the game for the Walmart generals. Uh, the other team has to play the game for the Walmart generals. And this, the wall, this is the indictment. I know. The, yep. I was about to say it. Go ahead. And this is the indictment. They still can't cover the spread. They still, they, they score two field goals. You know, I, I I'm just, just asking the NFL, how long are you going to let this go on? It, it makes you look like a bunch of clowns. It, it, it's you, so you, obvious. It's okay. worse than WWE. I, I, you know what? I, I have to. I think that this is who I'm going to address. You can address the NFL. And I, I, I think the NFL product is dog shit. It's Swift and Knight's crap. It's crap. But there, there, there's people that I need to address here. And that and it's that ownership group that took uh, the Denver Broncos logo and kept it. Yeah. Rob and you saw them pan a Condoleezza Rice and Rob Wal or and a Greg Penner. To all you to the ownership group and Rob Walton, you guys should be uh, fucking ashamed of yourselves, knowing that you're paying off these refs, 
knowing that you're giving them Walmart money, especially the NFL, because they love that Walmart money. I have to address those people directly. How the fuck can you look at yourself in the mirror knowing that you're you're paying off these refs and paying off the NFL to try and help out your team? And I mean, we know the indictment of it all if you is. Didn't make it, if you didn't make it so obvious. It is so, so obvious. obvious, man. You 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 and I were talking in this game, Chots Liver, and you're and you were ahead of me by a play or two, and a, a run would open up. Here comes the flag. Here comes the flag. But it's okay for Garrett. Not a first Bowles. down. We're, we're moving. To, oh, there's the flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, you can. I, I, I got to tell you this. I had my back to the TV. They got a first down. I had my back, and I said, "There's going to be a flag." I turn around. Oh, there it is. Yep, yep. There's a flag. But it's okay for Garrett Bowles to choke hold and bear hug people, and it's okay for Get, uh, Ben Powers. It's okay for Luke Wattenberg. Oh my God, our center and Quentin Miners has completely regressed. And Mike McFlinchy, you, you, all of the investment that I heard, okay, this is what I heard over the past two off seasons. Well, we've invested on that offensive line. It's a top 10 rated offensive line. Really? Really? A top 10 offensive line doesn't need the refs to help them get away with holding calls. Well, and they, when they fought, they had, because of Seattle, the debacle there. They had to call some of them, but when they did, oh well, yeah, they were holding, but 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 there's a ticky tack call over there. Yeah, they, yeah. They, oh, they you get another penalties shot offset, at it. The penalties offset it. Offset. Oh, you get another shot at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're holding, but wait, wait, wait. They, they got another ticky tack call. Well, no, it offsets. Give them another chance. And with all the chances that they got, they lost. They they couldn't do anything. They didn't just lose. They couldn't do anything. And oh, uh, let's talk about other players here that. Oh, God. Can okay. we talk about Bo Nix? Because I want to talk about oh, Bo Nix. Oh, or... he's the crown jewel. We'll get oh. to that. Okay. okay. He's the crown jewel. Now, Tan. we'll stay on offense so for, for a second. How about that great pick, uh, Greg Dulcich? How, how's that working out for you? That you guys said, Kelsey. He's Kelsey. I'll, yeah, Kelsey. You remember when they death threatened me over that? Yes. What, what did you say about the pick? I said it was a reach. He's overrated. I had two tight ends that were ahead of him, Jelani Woods and Isaiah Likely. And then you wouldn't you have those right now rather than him? Yes. Okay, we're going to talk about Sean Payton, too, and the system and all this. We got so much to discuss. The, do, do, let me just ask you this. Do the Saints miss Sean Payton at all? No, they have this guy named Kubiak who seems to really get the, the what he's doing. Well, Mickey Loomis and Jeff Ireland? And who, who's getting the player personnel for him? No, no, no that, that, don't, don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay, so what, here we got to go. Keep going. What about this this great PR job guy called PS2? Oh, wow. <laughs> the way the the the, the penalties on um, on the Steelers that happened somewhere else, he would have been burnt left and right. They took scores away from him. That Patrick Sertan is so overrated. He he is no champ, Bailey. What, is, tell me what player on this team is not overrated? You're right. What what which player on this team is a difference maker? Zero. Zero. And you know what? You again, don't bring me stats. I want the all 22 film. Because hey, Sports Talk Denver, the person that's saying show me the all 22 is yours truly, Coach Bucket Man. OK, that, that's who's telling you to show me the all 22. But knowing you and knowing your little posse and knowing the other content creators that never show the all 22, that just talk out of their ass and are wrong year after year after year. Again, you guys can sit there and tell me how great PS2 is. But my God, the eye test doesn't fucking lie. That dude is so bad. And if he was so good, if he was a Champ Bailey, if he was a Louis Wright, if he was a Richard Sherman, if he was a Darrell Revis, then why do they continuously continue to target him? All the time. Game after game. Game after game. So, we got him. And what about this other guy named Sutton? Oh, God. Who? Who? Where? What? He's your highest paid receiver, by the way. Where, where is that guy? What? What? Is he oh, he's running, he, he's, running, he's running route? lazy routes and dropping running the ball. Lazy. Yeah. Where, where was that guy? Now let's talk about the crown jewel. 
the 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 guy that the whole NFL is so they're all shaking in their boots. This guy needs so much work. This guy is, and I mean, I'm taking it uh, uh, under consideration the cast of characters around him. Yes, yes. that dude, that dude had should have had three picks today. By the way, man, I'm telling you, that dude, that dude cannot read the field. And I tried what? telling you that coming out of Oregon because what did I do? I watched the All 22, and it's on my it's on my channel. If you guys actually opened up your eyes and stopped listening. To the fans that have been lying to you for the nine grifters, years. the online grifters, <clears throat> they're the ones that put all this shit out. Now, now, to, to, to just to to Bo, to Bo Nix, I understand you didn't grift yourself. I understand you didn't promote yourself. But to the to that to that Condoleezza Rice, to that Penner, you really should be ashamed of yourself, allowing that front office that John Elway put together so he wouldn't look bad. That you allowed them to do this to that to that quarterback, I mean, it's only going to be a matter of time where people are going to finally say, we were should have went higher up in the draft because this is what we said during the offseason after they drafted him. We, we said, okay, okay. I, I said we said, okay, okay, what's gonna happen is when he tanks, because they're making him out to be Joe Montana, Elway, Breeze. Tom Brady 2.0 all rolled into one. And when that they realize he's not all that, we're gonna, there's gonna be a point where the front office will say, we didn't go high enough in the draft. Tank for Shadur. <laughs> go ahead. No, you're you're a hundred percent you're hundred percent right. I mean Bo Nix again is not a Sean Payne quarterback. I will I will go back. To when he was drafted, the pre-draft process. I tried telling you folks, he's not a Sean Payton quarterback. He's just not. He's not. This isn't the Sean Payton offense either, by the way. You guys can continue to be like, oh, Sean Payton, he needs to throw more deep balls. That's not what Sean Payton's offense is. We're going to talk about that, too. Yeah, because that's how I know. Again, the people that you watch during the game that have their live streams that say, oh, he needs to go to – that's not the Sean Payton offense. That's how I know you don't know the game of football and you don't watch it. Where, what, where did they have success in this game when, when they were getting the help? When they were well, still were getting help because they didn't. There, there, there was no. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the minute success that they had offensively, they were getting the ball out quick. Yeah, exactly what we said they had to do. But what happened? They didn't play Sean Sean Payton football. They went five out. Front office football, front office football. Yep. Doing all these go ball. They did what you asked them to do, and that was the worst they did. And, and, and by the way, and by the way, we are not the people that are burying Bo Nix. You people are the ones that buried him before he even stepped foot on the field week one this season. You people should be ashamed of yourself. I'm talking about the content creators that said that he was going to be Drew Brees, Joe Montana, Patrick Mahomes. But Tom. let's be honest, too. He's even worse than what we thought. Oh, than what we thought. But it's you it's you people, the fucking Walmart General fans, and I just loved it. I loved when they panned the Walmart General fans. Again, they were heading for the X's, just like the Colts game last year. Again, here we go again, folks. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. But instead, you want to listen to the grifters out there that have been wrong. And they've been lying to you for nine years. And then they will say, oh, come back, come back. We, we're we the real Denver Bronco fans. We're the real ones. Oh, yeah, you're really paid. spewing shit. We can tell the truth. We can. We don't get paid. We can tell the truth. We can tell you the way it is. You may not like it, but we gave you solutions, too. We told you how to get fixed this thing, but you don't want to do that. You don't like it. You want to just keep going with this, this failed model. Now, I have um, I have a warning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <clears throat> the Walmart Generals are coming to your town with their bear hugging, neck choking, takedown offensive line, and their referees. Yep. So, Tampa Bay fans, you're going to be saying, and content creators are going to be saying, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> It's, did, did they play when they played Detroit? Was there all this monkeying around? No, 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 no. So, so Tampa, get ready. 
Get the ready, circus, Tampa. The circus is coming to town. Yep. Uh, I also I also want to address this too. And uh, I've been talking to you on the side this week, and you had a commenter that came on saying that he's been watching you since day one, and he joined YouTube a, a month ago. I, I I really I really want to address that commenter specifically. You 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 sit there and say that the players that I've I, that I've scouted haven't really panned out. Um, have you watched the All Twenty Two film? Because the players that I have mentioned and the players that I have suggested, a majority of them have panned out. They have, and they're a lot better than the players that you fucking support. Okay, that's how I know you're lying. Okay, you haven't watched us from the very beginning. You joined YouTube a month ago. Okay, stop being a fucking grifter, dude. Seriously, I'm sick and tired of you uh, people. I'm sick and tired of it. Go ahead, shots liver. I just wanted oh, yeah. to liars. They got to come on and lie. Everybody knows. Hey, no, fun. I am not gonna fucking be like, oh yeah, I love these players just because they got their contracts. No, that's not what you get here at Denver Broncos Mile High View. Again, I'm sick and tired of coming on here defending what we do. And how we do it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Yeah, well, especially to people that are constantly wrong all the time. Yeah, and you wrong. people flock to that shit. Like, yeah. oh my we, God. Proven losers. Proven losers. You love that losing culture. Oh, they love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. There, there, there's also another thing I would like to address as well, Chop Deliver, if you don't mind. And uh, we watched the game. Man, those jerseys. Oh, my God. Those jerseys are so horrifically bad that I could go to a dollar store down the dollar aisle and get that for a buck. That's why they're called the Dollar Generals. Yeah. I just need to take that. Yeah, you need to take you, you need that. To take that fuck it. Yeah, you need to take it off. You're not the Denver Broncos. No, no. You got to put the WG until you've earned that Denver Bronco. So, I mean... The, the, I think the, the biggest thing is it's it's so. I think I think I think this year these two games are worse than last year because it's so blatantly obvious who the NFL and the refs are siding with. It is so blatantly obvious. Well, they can't they can't make the spread. They can't. And they're doing everything they can. To that, get that game that game should have been a 24 to six Pittsburgh Steelers win. Yeah. That should have been a 24 to 6 or 24 to 3, 24 to 6 Pittsburgh Steelers win. Yes. And, and you know what? If you guys watch the all 22 film and you guys actually understand the game of football and the origins of football, my God, that interception from Bo Nix in the end zone, that was uh that was bad. Well, I you mean, should have saw that coming a mile away. He predetermines all his oh, throws. He, he's a predetermined thrower. Yeah, he doesn't scan the field none. And weren't we told that? Oh my God! He, and again, what? Again, we got ahead of this, and this is why our track record's impeccable. Whether you grifters love and you people that love to be gaslit, believe it or not, we said, and this man said it from the very beginning. That Packers game was their Super Bowl because they yeah. knew, they knew, they knew, they knew. Is it? Hasn't these two games been that oh shit moment for everyone? There's no. No deny it's the oh shit. Oh no, but, but you know what they're doing now? They're backtracking and they're also saying, "Well, we knew that they were not going to." Well, be, yeah, we. Yeah, uh, I sure uh, you did. I'm no, sure you did yeah, tell them NFL that. Is, is shaking in their boots. You little D, the truth, little D and his lies. Sports talk, yeah. Denver. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, and then you have the only, the only uh, guy that wasn't. Uh, Jumping around like a dumbass Walmart General fan, he was like, "Yeah, this is not a good pick at all." Are you serious? That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. I know. I, I know. I, yeah, they've got themselves so deep in their lies and their deceit that you know, it's just, it's just like pathetic watching them. So, so this week, Walmart General content creators, just give me that fucking notion. Oh, man, we're going to go in and show Tampa Bay. Oh, and then when we lose, you'll be like, oh, we knew we were going to lose to Tampa Bay. And then you could do it the week ne the, the, the next week and do the same fucking thing. And then you're going to tell me, oh, we just need those eight wins. We need that wild card appearance, man. We need that AFC wild card appearance because we need that Jeff Fisher Bowl, baby. 
You know, we're, we don't want to strive for 13 wins going to Super Bowls. We want to strive for those eight wins and making it to the playoffs because that that's what screams culture, right? That's yeah. what screams culture. Yeah, it's Walmart culture. I don't, I don't see how they're going to— It's gonna... not even Walmart culture. I'm not giving it that much credit. Yeah, I realize the NFL is helping them out in every way they can. And they still lose. Yeah, I, that's why I say I can't see how they're going to make it to the playoffs unless— they get so See, much. Even, even Bubble Man, even Bubble Man, I think his prediction might be right. They might only win three games, and that's that's a big if. Yeah, I mean, how long can the NFL keep trying to help this team out? And it's so blatantly obvious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, so tell me and about. Again, you can tell me how great this defense is for the De- Walmart Generals, but again, you can tell me that. But again, what happens when teams actually play their A game? They move it up down the field with ease just like we've seen over the past eight nine years what did Tomlin what was Tomlin saying when he came out at halftime he said that the uh, penalties are getting ridiculous yeah I, I'm telling you Seattle definitely had to say oh again how long is it going to be before this uh, all 22 comes out? oh yeah they're going to be the last ones to, to put it out just like this past week well the NFL is going to have to do it too because it's obvious the NFL was obviously helping them out yeah, but I think there was a contention with Seattle. It's going to be, a, and you said Tomlin came out and said, "Hey, man, well, what's going on here?" So they had to call some of this whole. You, you had you had T.J. Watt looking at the refs, going like this. Yes, yes, and then what? How did they? Okay, we'll call the holding, but we're going to call you on some ticky stack stuff, so we get the. Yeah, we get we get the offsetting penalty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, you know, there, I, I don't know. There's going to, I think. Owners are going to get behind closed doors on this. It's up to these owners. What are you going to do with this Walmart money? Y'all want this Walmart money, but it comes with a price, obviously. So, and it also comes to the price of of degrading the NFL. I mean, it's already degraded, but I mean, how far are you going to let this this go on? You know, how long are you going to keep? This is so blatantly obvious. I just, I just want to. I just want to know. I mean, like I said, it's like, what the hell? I just, I don't even want to see another game. I, I don't either. I, I don't, don't either. Win the rest of their games. I, I, obviously, they need all the help they can get. I, I don't care. I just don't give a shit whether they win or they lose all the rest. I just don't care. I, and because because the product, it's bad. The product just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And the worse it gets, it's more so obvious how they're trying to help them. They have to be. They have, honestly, they've got to be as bad as the Carolina Panthers because they're not helping. The refs aren't. The NFL isn't helping the Carolina Panthers because they. No, they they're not. Walmart they're money. not. Nope. No. You know what? You know what? I think they're worse than Carolina. I do. I think they're worse than Carolina. I do. And you guys can. You guys again. You guys can come on your comment section and put out lies and say, "Oh, this is why you're not a coach in the NFL." This is why you suck at your job, and this is this, that, and the third. But again, I'm proven right week after week after week. So yeah, and I would I would rather be at the high school level coaching where you, there's a reward. Let's talk about that for a second. You you told me about you know one of your guys shot the gap, and you know telling me about all that. Well, a guy shot the gap, and uh, they were doing a trick play. So I I in my head I was already watching the play formation. Okay. And I already knew the set that they were trying to run. And the green dot linebacker, okay, he shot the gap, and he blew him up. And he, he read it so perfectly, and he, the senior linebacker. And he blew it up, and, oh, my God, I got so pumped. I almost got flagged for uh, being on the field because I was so hyped. And, and this was a third down play, okay? Yeah, so your, your players respond. And, uh, you know, you're developing players, and you're seeing the fruit of it to me. That beats, you're not getting NFL money by any stretch, but it beats, you're the reward. The money is watching these kids actually learn how to play it right. And when these things go right, you celebrate. And hopefully you can move it, put them in. You tell me about when you talk to scouts and everything else. And you really educate them. You actually educate them. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and it's just the reward is, is their development. But you're in the NFL. We showed Des Bryant, I think, was it the Cowboys receiver that, and you know, 
as bad as Jerry Jones is, he's not going to put up with, I'm not listening to the coaches, I'm not doing anything. They got rid of him after that. But I don't want to, all those coaches were like, oh, uh, uh, walking on eggshells. No, you actually can coach and you can actually get the reward of, of seeing them develop, develop properly, and that translate itself onto the field. It's much more rewarding than getting the paycheck from. Well, the- it's much more rewarding watching the Walmart generals uh, year after year after year. So it's just, it's just. Oh, it's, it's bad. And, and you have Walmart, you have, you know, Walmart general fans disguised as Denver Bronco fans uh, defending and supporting this shit. So that that's just. You know, this is this is really where I am. I, you know, I wouldn't even mind as much if they lost every game, if they were a real, if they were for real, if they were like, like, wow, the refs didn't need to interfere. They're not holding. Of course, they'd win more games because they could actually play. But I'm just saying I could handle even mediocrity if if it was real. If but what I see out there, it's just it's not real. It, it's it's fake. It's fake. It's, it's like I'm watching a 98 year old woman needing help across the road, and if she doesn't get the help, help everybody knows she's going to fall in the middle of the intersection, or she's going to get hit on the oncoming traffic. So she has to get help across. That's how I look at this this team. I know. Three, four years. I and know. It's worse every year. I know. I, I know. Coach, you got, they all want to have to play in this sandbox. This yeah. Elway created sandbox. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's it's. I just don't know how the NFL, well, how they're going to pull this off, game after game. Next, it's going to be Tampa. You know, are they going to get that? Are they? I mean, are they going to be a part of this clown show? Are they going to play like they did play? The last be, two because I think if Tampa Bay, if, if Tampa Bay could play their A game, I think they blow out the Walmart Generals. I do. What? The, the Pittsburgh Steelers would have blew them out at the. Yeah, of- I know, I know, I know. And if Seattle didn't like fake it the first half, and we have Walmart General fans cheerleading this shit. By the way, I'm just I'm but they. Oh my God, we sh- we showed progress, baby. Bo Nix is a rookie. He showed some progress. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I don't want to hear any moral victories in all of this. Yeah, that's all you guys want are moral vic- victories. Yeah, yeah. Raise the Jeff Fisher. Wait, raise the Jeff Fisher high. Get that Jeff Fisher trophy and raise it high. You know, we just raise it high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine years. Yeah, is there anything else? No, I just uh, this organization's a joke. This some of these fans and these Walmart General fans are a joke. The front office, the ownership group is a joke. I mean, you guys should all be ashamed of yourself. The NFL's a joke. You should all be ashamed of yourself. Walmart General fans, the ownership group, the NFL, the referees in that game today. You should all be a fucking ashamed of yourself. It's a bad product. It's a horrible. Yeah, you guys are just you guys are pathetic. And that offensive line should be, you know, their head should be down. Yep, yep. And I'm just, not just, just like those line. fans, just like those fans over the past nine years had their heads down because they were gaslit again, they were grifted again, and they had their hands heads down heading towards the exit because they listened to a bunch of fucking retards like these stupid content creators in the front office. And I, now it's time for our sponsor. Yeah. Yes, well, we finally got one, and it is Bucket Man. Mining Consortium. <laughs> you got to buy some stock in it. I'm telling you, buy stock right now while it's still hot in the Bucket Man Mining Consortium, sitting on top the world's largest reserve of Swiftonite. Swiftonite, it's what makes content. Swiftonite, <laughs> yes. It's uh, what makes content. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. It was better the first time. <laughs> yeah. Woo woo. Woo. All right, so uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't even know if I want to do any more of these. I'm just so. I I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's just so. <laughs> it, it's 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 draining. It, it it's really draining. It, it's. Draining. There's any team that's like this in the anywhere. I, I mean, care. the only team that I look forward to watch is this team right here. 
So, I mean, and college football. College football at least is a better product than what I see with this shit. So, except halftime with the Colorado, and you have to go deep. Yeah, that's true. But that, ugh. Colorado Dion's. And they still lost. And they still lost. <laughs> Just like a lot of Denver teams, they still lose. Well, maybe there's a uh, CSU Rams in the Broncos' future. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what I'm saying? I do, I'm I, always fighting. I'm a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that yeah, the guy that wears the skirt. God, that that dude is a worthless piece of shit of society. I swear to God. <laughs> I said it. I don't give a fuck. All I right. This piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I all on all of his nine his his nine <laughs> his nine followers. His nine his nine cellmates that he yeah. raped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. I'll see you. All right. Bye.